This is how humans are made. Basic stem cells transform into eyes, lungs, blood, every bit of us. These stem cells are being turned into muscle cells. But it's not happening inside a body. It's a technique developed by a Cambridge company that for the first time can produce human cells on an industrial scale. So Millie, other people are turning stem cells into the different cells that they want. What's different about your process? So the old process can take up to maybe 40 to 70 days, whereas with our process, we can do it within 10 days, which makes it cheaper, it makes it more efficient, and we've also got better consistency with our cells, and the yield that we get is much, much better than the conventional methods. Their approach is unique. Treating each stem cell almost like a computer they reprogram its genetic code so it becomes what they want. This is what it's all about. Inside here, frozen and ready to go out to researchers, is a million human muscle cells. Researchers need lots of high quality, mature human cells to understand diseases and test new drugs. But right now they're in short supply. They can also be used for cell therapies and potentially something even more incredible. How long do you think it might be before you can actually assemble an entire organ? It'll, it depends a little bit on the organ size, um, but if you think about heart um, and uh, liver, probably within a decade. I mean, that's an amazing. You're talking about assembling an entire heart or liver, potentially that could go into a person at some point in a decade. Well, the pace of medicine is really accelerating and um, it, it's just a new era. Currently, they're producing brain and muscle cells, but they're trying to crack more codes so they can mass produce cells from all over the body. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.